Hello guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Badger by New Bright. It has, the car has a pretty good steering servo. Let me get the controller. It's only a motor, so don't get too hyped up. It doesn't have proportional. Okay, so now it's pretty fast. It goes about five miles per hour. So it's crashed. It's a lightning bolt inside. Haha. <laughs> so the remote control has an inside antenna. It's inside of it. You can put one on, I'm pretty sure. So it has proportional speed adjustment. So I'll just turn this off real quick. Here's how you turn it off. Hold it till the light goes black. Well, red, but darker red. Okay, so the throttle proportional pull back to go forward yeah basic forward to go backwards so it will automatically turn off 30 minutes non-use so I will not be driving it right now but I will tell you some pros and cons of it it's pretty durable but if if you go and crash it a ton of times like I have been doing it the bumper will sort of crack off so that's a default the the thing is with this it it can be charged in a USB in the computer and they give you a pretty good size length of it here's where you charge it so and then they give you two double A batteries It takes two hours to charge, but it doesn't run that long. Okay, so now, if, here's one thing that bugs me. There's actually, even though it looks like there's back suspension, there's no back suspension. Front suspension, but no back suspension. That's just the body moving right there. So let's take a look inside of it has clips like other RCs. That's a good thing that I like. Simply pull the body off. It's pretty simple inside. Again, this this may fall off. It's pretty wobbly. But here's where the suspension is connected. Just some springs. But why the back wheels don't have any um suspension is because it has like no swivel. And it's connected to the motor, so it's not like these arms. Yeah. So, it is a... Let me see. 909.606 megahertz. And 913.06 megahertz. So you can basically do two things at once two cars at once because there's a auto pairing one and two and this car's pretty good it's thin plastic but it's really durable so I would put this on a scale of one to ten because it does go off-road really well for a size of this small um but I would only give it around a a nine okay so here are all the things that it includes it includes four extras so here's two of them I'll just take it all apart so here's what it fully gives you as always see you guys later